welcome to Firearms of America. Today I'm back here at Shooter in Fort Myers, Florida with this shoulder holster. Yes, finally some more shoulder holsters. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of those. So today I'm doing the review of another one. And this one is from Craft Holsters as well. Yes, I reviewed a lot of those products. Uh, I love those guys. They have some really, really cool holsters, some really cool EDC belts, pouches, really whatever you're looking for. Check them out. The best thing about them is their leather shoulder holsters. Yes, and this particular one is made by Vega, specifically for craft holsters. The Italian leather, look how beautiful it looks. Let me take it off. And uh, this particular one is for the Glock 19. As you can see, currently I have my uh, Glock 19X in here and uh, this one was supposed to be with the embossed, embossed? That's what, monogram embossing, yes. But uh, unfortunately it's not, not exactly mine, it's FAA instead of FOA. But uh, still nice to have, so yeah, yeah. If you, uh, if you want to do it for some extra couple dollars, you definitely can have your initials or if your name is three letter name like Lou or something. Pretty good, there you go. All right, so let's talk about the shoulder holster. I do like the leather. Now I'll start with the holster itself and then we will get into the counterbalance, which is this double mag pouch. Now, as you can see, the positioning of this shoulder holster is Horizontal, yes, now uh, you can adjust it to be a little bit tilted forward or a little bit tilted backwards, or actually this is forward and this is, this is backward. You can definitely do that if you want with this particular one, but not a lot. This is meant to be a horizontal carry holster. Now, some people are not fans, just psychologically whenever it comes to having a horizontal shoulder holster because you have your gun pointing at someone in the back and that psychologically kind of can be a little bit of, you know, weird thing. The same thing with the mag pouch. It is, as you can see, vertically looking down, tilted a little bit forward. Now, I did this intentionally. I adjusted it intentionally to be a little bit forward so that the mags come out a little bit of an angle so it's easier. All right, back to the holster. Like I said, I'll come back to the mag pouch later. All right, so the thumb brake, very, very intuitive, very easy to operate. The button, the hardware on it is great, works without any problems. So it is very easy to draw. Now the gun itself is sitting in the holster nicely, but the best part about this holster is that you can actually adjust the tension of how tight the gun is sitting inside of the holster. As you can see, there is a one tension adjustment screw and uh, before we move on before we move on to uh, the mag pouch and everything else here's a really really cool thing about this holster specifically about the holster is that it's not just a shoulder holster yes it actually has on the back it has the belt loops so you can use it as uh, over the waistband Holster, how, how awesome is that? And not just over the waistband holster, you can also carry it as an SOB holster, which sits in the back kind of sideways. If you don't know, check it out, SOB type of holsters. Basically what it is, it sits kind of like this, right? Because you have the belt going from here and through here. So it sits like that on your back, very good draw, very nice, very intuitive. So if you, if you haven't um, ever kind of dealt with the SOB holsters, check them out, I think you're gonna like them. Now the uh, shoulder holster harness itself, like I said, the leather, it's a little bit of a different, not really a little bit, it is a different color, all right? For men, it's a little bit of a different color. For a woman, she will say, that's a way different color. But it's both of them are brown, so. Not too bad, I guess. Uh, but the leather is very nice, it's very comfortable. You can really wear it without your shirt on. 
Although I don't know why you would do that. Unless you're of course Bruce Willis, then it makes sense. One thing that I wanted to point out here is that I do like the fact that the backplate says made in Italy. Yeah, pretty cool. No, but, but really, I, I really like the fact that it is uh, actually very soft and rubbery material. I'm not a huge fan of those plastic backplates because over the time, especially if you use the shoulder holsters um, in a car while you're driving, it, it might get a little bit annoying after some time because you are feeling that uh, backplate on your back, so yeah. Another thing that I wanted to point out here is that these are actually removable, these are buttons, so you can unbutton yourself for whatever reason, maybe you need to remove this very quickly, or I don't know, but yes, yes, that does unbutton. Okay, so let's talk about the magazine pouch really quickly and then we will get into the adjustment and stuff. So, magazine pouch, let's talk about that. So it's a double pouch, it has two different adjustable buttons depending on what kind of magazine you have. For example, this uh, Glock 19X comes with the extended 17 capacity magazine, which does fit in just barely here on the very last button. But, but, like I said, this is designed actually for Glock 19, which comes with the 15 capacity magazine and that will fit in here without any problems. The good thing about this magazine pouch is that it does come with two. It is universal in a way, so it will fit a lot of different magazines, uh, but you can actually adjust it if you want with these two tension screws so that your magazine drawer is also different to your preference, however you want. Now you probably noticed this button in the back. This is actually for the belt attachment, which I don't have on me right now, but you can have a belt attachment if you're into that stuff. Personally, I'm not a big fan whenever my shoulder holster rig attaches to the belt, but if you're into that, well, there you go. Alrighty, so let's talk about the uh, harness itself and the adjustment, or one of the important parts. So you probably noticed the hardware he here is heavy duty plastic. Um, this is one of the things that I'm not a huge fan of in this particular rig, is the way it adjusts. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not bad in any way. It just, I think compared to some other systems out there, is a little bit more complicated because the, the way it works is you adjust it by taking out this thing out of the hole and then the bottom obviously thing and then sliding this however you want which is not so easy and then you have to find not one button but two buttons and uh, not buttons holes in order to have it adjusted honestly really not a huge deal you adjust it once, you will have a little bit of a struggle adjusting it one time and that's it, you're good, all right? Unless you get fat and then you have to adjust it again. So don't be fat, don't get fat, live a healthy lifestyle, all right? Uh, but like I see, like you see, I, I did not uh, cut off the extra yet. I'm still kind of in the adjustment process of this. I'm still wearing it and seeing if it, uh, if it works 100% and then once, once you figure out and make sure that it fits you perfectly without any problems and you're definitely comfortable, what you can do is uh, you can cut off the excess leather and then tape it up if that's what you want. You don't have to tape it up, but you can. But other than that, I absolutely love, love, love this shoulder holster, probably in my uh, top three of all the shoulder holsters that I have reviewed so far. Not that I reviewed so many, I probably reviewed like eight or 10 of them. Check, check out a few videos, a few comparisons I have. Um, but this is definitely, definitely at the top of the list. I do love the leather, the stitching is beautiful, the fitment, the gun draw is perfect. Um, I do like the um, thumb brake here, it works perfectly. It, it, it doesn't take too much effort to break, as you can see, it's, very easy and uh, nice to have some uh, customability. Custom
Customization. Customization options. Yeah. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.